for 150 keywords which is polity keywords now justice justice involves fair fair moral and impartial treatment of all persons now in the words of john roll justice is fairness it involves right mix of values of equality liberty freedom opportunity etc now india borrowed ideals of justice that is social economic and political from soviet union which is the former ussr now social justice it means a fair and just relationship between an individual and society it refers to justice in terms of distribution of wealth opportunities and privileges within a society it aims to meet challenge of socio economic inequality by rule of law now according to b r ambedkar dr b r ambedkar social justice is a means to create an ideal or just society to him a just society is a casteless society based on principles of social justice the key components of sub ambedkar's concept of social justice are liberty equality and fraternity examples affirmative policy that is the reservation system followed in india is an apt example of social justice now political justice refers to the use of judicial process for purpose of power sharing in politics for example the provision of universal adult suffrage reservation policy to ensure representation of marginalized sections etc deals with political justice now economic justice the justice theory of justice aimed at achieving equal economic opportunities for all individuals avoiding concentration of wealth in the society and establish a foundation to lead a life of dignity and opportunity it mainly deals with economic policies of the state example equal wages for all progressive taxation system equal distribution of wealth by various welfare schemes etc now distributive justice justice that is concerned with the distribution or allotment of goods duties and privileges in concert with the merits of individual and best interest of the society justice here requires that the resources available are to the distributor be shared according to some relevant criterion procedural justice procedural justice lays emphasis on fair processes rather than outcomes that is if procedure is correct then whatever be the outcome justice is said to be done for example if a law is enacted following the fair procedure or procedure established by law then to prevent appointment of certain sections of its society to public offices then such a law will serve the purpose of procedural justice substantive justice now substantive justice is concerned with the fair outcomes apart from following fair procedure it means that even those rights are safeguarded which are non included in the existing law the above example was not substantive justice because selectively excluding certain section from public appointments cannot be fair retributive justice looking at the well-being of society by implementing punishments for wrongdoing retributive justice implies punishing an action which was illegal with an aim to deter it for example death penalty for heinous crimes in various countries retroactive justice now sorry restorative justice restorative justice refers to an approach to justice that seeks to repair harm by providing an opportunities for those harmed and those who take responsibility for the harm to communicate about and address their needs in the aftermath of a crime for example victim assistance various processes that help victim recover and lead normal life community service to help the offender get an idea of the harm they have caused and provide them an opportunity to help in the healing principles of natural justice are the basic rules that aim at bringing fairness in procedure followed by every judicial quasi judicial an administrative agency in taking decisions that can avert adversely affect the rights of a private individual it requires fulfillment of three conditions no one should be a judge in their own case a judge should always hear the other party before giving any order a judge should act without any biases now liberty the term liberty broadly means absence of restraints on the activities of an individual at the same time it provides opportunities to develop oneself fully india borrowed deals of liberty 
equality and fraternity ideals of liberty excuse me liberty equality and fraternity from france now negative liberty negative liberty is primarily concerned with freedom from external restraint it is the absence of obstacles barriers or constraints positive liberty is understood as the possession of power resources to act in an environment that overcomes the inequality that divides us it is provided by institutions negative liberty defines and defends the areas of an individual life where no external authority can interfere positive liberty defines the areas of society where an individual can be free with some constraints made by the society and the government negative liberty is not concerned with the conditions of society positive liberty is concerned with enabling conditions of the society negative liberty is concerned with explaining the idea of freedom from interference from other people or the state the idea of positive liberty is the idea of freedom or capacity to overcome an external restraint whether imposed by society or state it is the ability to fulfill one's purposes more negative liberty leads to more freedom more positive liberty checks excess of freedom to an individual which could be an obstruction for so social stability for example imagine if everyone is driving their vehicle as per their will there is no traffic control example of positive liberty will be traffic control is restraining the free will of people for building capacity for society to function properly now liberty versus freedom liberty deals with the state of being that is free to do something freedom is the state of being free from something liberty is most often used in context of being free but under a legal framework freedom is more commonly used which describes one's ability to act according to his or her own wish without any type of external pressure liberty is the responsible use of freedom without depriving anyone else of their freedom freedom is the ability to do as one will and what one has the power to do granted by now liberty is granted by authority to people in common freedom is extracted from the government now equality means the absence of special privileges to any section of the society and provisions of adequate opportunities for individuals without discrimination it also entails equal satisfaction of basic needs of all equality does not stand for absolute equality it accepts the presence of some natural dissimilarities now types of equality social equality it stands for the absence of special privileges for any class or caste or religion religious group or ethnic group it also entails prohibition of discrimination against anyone based on caste color creed religion sex and place of birth free access to public places for all people that is no social segregation equality of opportunity for all people it however accepts the concept of protective discrimination in favor of all weaker sections of the society now civil equality it is elaborated as the grant of equal rights and freedoms to all people and social groups all the people are treated to be equal before the law political equality it is referred to as equal opportunities for participation of all in the political process this involves the concept of granting equal political rights for all citizens economic equality now economic equality denotes to fair and adequate opportunities to all for work and for earning of their livelihood it tries to keep the gap between rich and rich and poor as low as possible it believes that there should be equitable distribution of wealth and resources in society now egalitarianism is a philosophical theory that rests on the claim that human beings have some sort of fundamental worth and hence should all be treated as equals in all aspects that is social economic and political now capitalism according to adam smith is laissez faire economy where society's interests are best served when individuals in that society are allowed to pursue own best interest now individuals will own and operate majority of the businesses that provide goods and services and have right to own and sell pro private property market economy where businesses individual decide what to produce and buy market determines the quantity sold and prices 
मिक्स्ड इकोनॉमी इज द यूएस इकोनॉमी मॉडल ऑफ इज अ मॉडिफाइड कैपिटलिस्ट ऑफ फ्री इंटरप्राइज सिस्टम विद सम गवर्नमेंट पार्टिसिपेशन नाउ कम्युनिज्म अकॉर्डिंग टू कार्ल मार्क्स इट इज अ क्लासलेस सोसाइटी वेर इंडिविजुअल्स कंट्रीब्यूट बेस्ड ऑन दैपेबिलिटी एंड रिसीव बेनिफिट्स बेस्ड ऑन दियर नीड्स नाउ गवर्नमेंट ओन्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द इकोनॉमिक रिसोर्सेज प्रैक्टिस स्ट्रिक्टली कंट्रोल टाइप ऑफ सोशलिज्म now command economy where emphasis is played or placed on the production of goods that government needs rather than on products consumer may want communism has dwindled with the breakup of uh, soviet union and economic reforms in china north korea and cuba are the best remaining examples socialism now it aims to establish equitable distribution of income elimination of poverty distribution of social services based on need eliminate economic waste features of socialism include government who owns and control key industries private ownership of smaller businesses may be permitted command economy government decides what will be produced how it will be produced and who gets what is produced and the prices visible socialism is present in many democratic governments the most notable with a high degree of socialism include sweden finland and india types of socialism is the fabian socialism which was founded in 1884 in london the goal of fabian socialism was to establish a democratic socialist state in great britain it is a peaceful form as it follows the constitutional method of bringing socialism at times difficult to differentiate between theory of welfare state and fabianism independent india's first prime minister jawahar lal nehru was influenced by the fabian socialism and developed an economic policy along fabian lines now religious socialism religious socialism is a policy philosophy which tries to merge religious values with socialist system red socialism it is propagated by marxism it is the belief that struggle between social classes specifically between the bourgeois and capitalist or the capitalist and the proletarians or the workers defines economic relations in the capitalist economy and when ill inevitably lead to violent revolutions which is followed by communism it doesn't believe in peaceful resolutions of dis- differences between bourgeois or capitalist and the proletariat that is the workers yellow socialism contrary to red socialism yellow socialism believes in cooperation between organized labor and capitalist business it believes that both worker groups and business groups can operate in parallel and workers can get share of profits through negotiation socialism in india was influenced by socialism which was practiced in the erstwhile ussr liberalism now it is a political doctrine which is concerned with the protection and enhancing the liberty of an individual it gives importance to human individuality and aims at liber- liberation of individual from complete subservience to any royal power in this respect liberalism stands for emancipation of the individual neo liberalism it is an ideology that emphasizes the value of free market competition it is most commonly associated with laissez faire economics it is often characterized in terms of its belief in sustained economic growth as the means to achieve human progress minimal state intervention in economic and social affairs and its commitment to the freedom of trade and capital now frederick hayek is considered as the father of neoliberalism libertarianism is a political philosophy which like liberalism strongly values individual freedom it tends to endorse strong rights to individual liberty and private property and defend civil liberties where liberalism was a rejection of royal power libertarianism are against nearly all form of state social and economic power or other forms of coercion beyond the individual they often call for dissolution of such organizations utilitarianism is a theory that advocates actions that foster happiness and oppose actions that cause unhappiness it seeks to promote the greatest amount of good for the greatest number of people that is it aims for the betterment of society as a whole and not center account around the good for a few people now democracy is defined as the form of government in which supreme power is vested in the people not state 
it is exercised by them directly or indirectly through the system of representation usually involving involving periodic free elections now direct democracy when people themselves directly express their will on public affairs the type of government is called pure or direct democracy an example would be ancient greek city state there are four instruments of direct democracy referendum initiative recall and plebiscite while acknowledging these tools are definite defined differently in various nations here are some general features now a referendum means referring some important issue policy or decision to the people such as amendment of the constitution or in response to topics of considerable political significance initiative means that people taking initiative to get certain law of its choice passed they can send the proposal to the legislature which may enact it on usual lines recall here majority of the people of a constituency can ask legislature to send back their representative and thus cancel his membership plebiscite here people are directly consulted on the questions of political impo- importance now differences between plebiscite and referendum plebiscite is an advisory referendum for gathering public opinion in any matter of public importance such as making policy or law referendums are direct democracy technique in which individuals vote directly on a specific subject now in plebiscites results hold no legal force in referendums to pass a, a referendum must achieve a majority maybe nationally or in majority of states thus it is a true type of democracy it can be a yes no vote or a vote on multiple options referendum is always a yes or no vote in plebiscite voting has traditionally been optional but can be made compulsory in referendum voting is compulsory self determinism means that all people have rights to express freely determine without external interference their political status and to pursue their economic social and cultural development as per international law all people have right to self determination indirect democracy or representative democracy when the people express their will on public affairs through their elected representatives the type of government is called indirect democracy this kind of democracy also known as representative democracy actually democracy will deal in another video now albeit for this video